Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show you the top 10 SAP transaction codes every SAP user must know. And what I'm meaning by this, that you at least should be aware and should know these transaction codes. I don't mean that you're actively using those transaction codes, but um, with over 10 years of SAP experience, um, I think those 10 transaction codes are the most important ones. And especially if you have any error if you would like to troubleshoot, then those 10 transaction codes are the ones you might use in order to resolve your error and to find the solution. So first of all, let's start definitely with the data browser. Um, to access the data browser, you have def you have three ways. So first of all, you can uh, use the SE16. This is the oldest version, the SE16N and the SE16H, the extended, the uh, version with the most functionality, especially if you're using HANA database, you want to have some HANA functionalities, you definitely should use the H version. I I personally prefer the SE16N the most and within here you have the ability to search directly within the values of a database. So for example, if you open up the table TSTC, then this is the table that contains all the SAP transaction codes and then you can execute this. And then within here you get yeah, the most important information, especially for this database table. And with the for help, you can also search for uh, other tables in the system to find your SAP table. Um, there are other options to find the needed SAP table. I've made our own video for that. I will link to you. Um, but you definitely should use um, or be aware of the SE16 and the data browser transaction. Then let's move over to another transaction and it's the SU53 transaction. Especially if you have any authorization errors or you think that you have any authorization error, then you should call this because then within here all the authorization errors, all the authorization checks are displayed within here. Um, I am this uh, SAP server, I have SAP all, so I don't have any authorization issue, but you should check this transaction if you think you have any authorization error. Then let's move over to the SU3 transaction. Um, you can access also the maintenance of your user profile under the menu function system, then user profile and then user data or SU3. And within here, what is so great, you can at least maintain your personal information and you can define your default values like the start menu, your format and so on. And you can maintain parameters. And parameters are really, really great because with it there you can pre-fill information in some input fields. Um, yeah, uh, really, really great. You definitely should be aware of this. Then let's move over over to the SE93 transaction. Within the SE93 transaction, you can basically have a closer look on the transaction code. So for example, on the Miro, and then uh, you can display, you can see uh, basically what is calling when you enter this transaction code in the command field, uh, what happens within there, uh, really, really great. And by the way, with the for help, you can also search for other transaction codes, what you like to. Uh, you can also maintain and create new set transaction codes. That's also possible within this transaction code. Then let's move over to really, really great transaction, especially for developers to find also ABAP objects. It's the SE. 80 transaction. Within the SE80 in general, you open up the object navigator and within here you have the possibility within the repository browser to search for a very wide range of ABAP objects um, yeah, from different categories. You can also with the added object find some development object in general. You can also use the enhanced option. Um, really, really great. You can also use the repository information system. By the way, if this 
this is not uh, shown within here, then under Utilities and Settings, you can uh, click one of those buttons and then continue. So, for example, the transport organizer. And then this is also shown within here, and uh, you can have a closer look there. So SE80 especially, um, yeah, within the SE80 all the ABAP editors are integrated, so like the SE24, the class builder, like the SE37, the function builder, and as the SE38, the ABAP editor, just use the SE80 and then you're good to go. I highly recommend to use this. Then I should definitely be aware of the SA38 transaction because within here you can basically execute ABAP programs and yeah have those uh, executable in the system. Then let's move over to the SE11 transaction code within the ABAP dictionary. Um, yeah, this is a really, really great transaction um, because within here you can maintain, you can create ABAP objects like database tables tables, views, data types, uh, type groups, domains, and so on. So within there, you can have a closer look on some data elements. What is the length? Uh, yeah, really, really great, especially, for example, if you're using the technical information. So for example, the, let's go to the Miro uh, just to show you this. And then yeah, just use the F1 key on your keyboard. Then within here, you have the technical information. And then with forward navigation, so with double click, you end up in the ABAP dictionary, so in the SE11. Yeah, this is really, really recommended. Then let's move over to the SE43N transaction code. This is a transaction code to create and to maintain area menus. So for example, let's lose the uh, FSMN trans uh, area menu. That's an area menu for the SAP FIGL, so general ledger area menu. And within here, you uh, very, very nice transaction codes are grouped and listed in a tree structure. And you can open up the area menu when you are in the start menu and then enter the ID of this area menu. And then within here, you can basically also open up the transaction code within here. SE43N, great, great transaction code, especially if you would like to get to know a new area, if you would like to analyze all the related transaction codes, really, really great. And then let's move over to the SM30 transaction code. SM30 transaction code. So this is a transaction code to basically, yeah, to, to open up the table maintenance view because within here you can maintain directly tables and often if you open up, for example, a customizing table, then in the foreground you open up the SM30 transaction. Um, this is the one transaction to maintain the values of a table if for of course if a maintenance table view has been created for a table and then uh, let's move over to the S Pro. And within the S Pro, um, there basically all the magic regarding customizing happens. So within here, your uh, different nodes are um, grouped in some, some categories. And within here, all the, the very important customizing happens. And um, yeah, um, I think those are, in my opinion, the, the, the most important SAP transactions. I know, of course, if you are working in SAP FIMM, uh, if you're actively using the SAP system, for example, with the FB60, with the Miro, whatever, then uh, for you, uh, of course, uh, if you are a, a key user, uh, other transactions are really, really important. But to sum it up, to have a whole the whole complexity and um, to, to resolve er errors, to to, to 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 understand the SAP system itself, I think those are the ten transactions you definitely should know. 
Um, of course, I think not for every transaction you have the, the needed authorizations, but you should definitely know those transactions and maybe you can use them now. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, uh, put them in the comment section and please subscribe to this YouTube channel to support my work and to never miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and then see you in the next video.